defeats Illinois 20 to 7. Gopher stopped the mighty red train. What a way to dedicate a new stadium. <laughs> and the little brown jug comes back to Minnesota. At Ann Arbor, Michigan, Minnesota 7, the University of Michigan nothing. <laughs> the Gophers have upset the number one team in the nation, Michigan, 16 to nothing. <laughs> Throws it toward the end zone. It is caught by a touchdown by Carroll. <laughs> He has scored a touchdown on a run of 98 yards! <laughs> <laughs> he got it away, and it is good! It is good, and the players swarm onto the field. <laughs> Here's the snap. The kick is up, and it is going to be... Good! No! It's good! <laughs> He's hit! have intercepted <laughs> the kick is up it is good the gophers have won in overtime To the Metrodome, and now back on campus at the new TCF Bank Stadium, the tradition of Gopher football on WCCO Radio continues. This is the home of Golden Gopher football. News Radio 830, WCCO. You can hear the dinging. I'd imagine, is Coach Brewster leading it? Do you see it? Is Coach Brewster going to be the first one out in front of the victory walk? Do we know? I think so. But last night, did you hear about him landing in yeah, the helicopter? Last oh, night. Oh, hang on, Sid. Here they come. Kaka, and also at Creighton. Yeah, yep. that's an interesting way to recruit. And here, here comes Tim Brewster and the Gophers. Oh, yeah. They got the cameras on him. He's dressed in a perfect suit, pumping the fist as he comes through. Tim Brewster and the Golden Gophers have arrived at TCF Bank Stadium. He gets a final hug from his wife as he goes through the now pearly gates. There's Dan O'Brien, his ops man, and the Golden Gophers right behind him. That's the coaching staff and a few players. Most of the players stopping, it looks like, Mike, to extend a hand. And the team captain's part of this first group that comes through as well as they're coming through the main gate on the west side of this stadium. They'll obviously go from there into that big locker room, which we've heard so much about, get dressed for the game, and then kick off coming up in just under two hours. And this is a, will be a weekly deal for every yep. home game, two hours before kickoff. They want this as it is today, as exciting. Wow. I mean, this is really something this neat. This is something. This is something. You know, you, you, you live long enough, and I guess you see everything. And here comes Goldie Gopher, Kevin Cosgrove, the defensive coordinator now, making his way through the main gate. And here come more Golden Gophers along the way. They're taking it in, Sid. I've never seen a site like this at the University of Minnesota, have you? No. Well, it's a brand new stadium. They're playing the first game here. And uh, this guy, this guy loves the, this uh, walk around or whatever you call it. I hope they're concentrating on the football game rather than on this walk around and all this stuff. Yeah, I see Kyle Theron coming through there. Go for safety. Talked to him yesterday over here on campus. John Butler, who joined us on the John coaches Butler. show, just made his way through. Dave Mona just tells us that the chant was, let's go Gophers, and then it slowly changed to back on campus was the chant ah. for a while there over by the alumni. And now uh, you the hear McNamara. the music blaring. I'd like to see him crank up the rouser. I'm not sure what the we got. Gaylor, did they do that? Down yeah, there? every week down yeah. the alley, past the you motel. Played, you played at Gaylor, they had this walk around too? Except once in a while, a cow would walk in front and screw it up for us. <laughs> but it'd have a cowbell to make yes. a little noise, right? This is something. If you can see this, and if you get out here next week here. in the upcoming weeks, it is filled with maroon and gold. They're about 15 deep, uh, just waving or giving a high five to the Gopher football team. This is what. Tim Bruce had in mind when he originated the, the uh, victory walk 
and uh, coaches are dressed in nice suits. The football players are dressed in uh, maroon and gold sweatsuits. And uh, I, I hope somebody is taping this for the Gophers because this is one for the archives. And bringing in our friend and Hall of Fame broadcaster to make the call of the Gophers' first offensive series of the second half, our good friend Ray Christensen. I've got to make him go 92 yards, huh? Slot back to the right, rolling to the right is Weber. Now he throws to Decker, who gets it at first down, mark the 22 or 3 yard line. He knew where the first down was. He knew he was beyond it, and the Gophers have their first down. So the ball will be snapped by Ryan Coleman. Blake Howden will hold it. He's at the 24. That makes it a 34-yarder for Ellisted. Here's the snap. Kick is up. And the fans say it's good. The officials agree. And the first point scored at TCF Bank Stadium by the Gophers. Eric Ellisted, 3-0 Minnesota. Single setback. Two receivers wide to the left. One man in motion at the tight end spot. Handoff, left side, there's some room over there for Eskridge, he's in for a Gopher touchdown. Uh, nice run by Eskridge, fought off a hit at the five-yard line, bounced a little bit, realized he had his feet free and just sprinted into the end zone for what will be the tying touchdown after this extra point. Second and about four to go for Air Force. Backs will be out of the eye this time, two the big man is the up back, and now they'll bring their wide out back to have a three-man eye. The snap, the option, keeper, Jefferson looking for a hole. Fumble! Picked up by Minnesota. To the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Golden Gopher touchdown on a turnover by Nate Schwartlett. He won the game from the left hash last week. This time he's on the right hash. His snapper is Ryan Coleman. His holder is Blake Howden. And Eric Ellisted, who grew up as a Gopher, three years old. He was wearing maroon and gold, always wanted to play here. He started his career off with a bang last week. And he's ready. Here's a snap. Here's a old kick is up. And it is on the way. The fans say it's good. The officials agree. And the Gophers take a 10-point lead with 5-13 to go in the fourth quarter. 